yet another song by Davidi Robadiri from Marawi. Yet another song I have to sing. In the early work of the colonial dusky, I sang the song of fire. The church doors opened to the clang of new anthems and colour banners. Like the Beatles, the evangelical hymns of confession rocked the world and me. I knelt before the new totems I had helped to raise, watered them with tears of ecstasy. They grew taller than life, grimacing and a breathing fire. Today I sing yet another song, a song of exile. Okay, uh, ladies and gentlemen, the poem yet another song shows or depicts the joy or happiness that the poet and other people of Malawi in particular and Africans in general felt after gaining independence and after ending the colonial rule which in this poem is referred to as colonial dusky. That means the end of colonial rule. Colonial rule as you know was exploitative and a burden to Africans. So the Africans themselves hated the system that is why when they got independence they were so much excited. In the poem the poet persona also laments about the rise of dictators. In the independent African countries these dictators were blacks who betrayed their fellow Africans. The poet persona says in the early work of a colonial dusky I sang the song of fire. The, so, the, the colonial task refers to the end of colonialism. And the song of fire refers to the songs of happiness. You know, after gaining independence, the, the Africans celebrated much. The song of fire, therefore, was a symbol that symbolizes or symbolized the, those celebrations that the Africans undertook. So, uh, people, as I told you, uh, the people of Africa were helped after gaining independence. They welcomed independence with happiness, with the ecstasy. The church, uh, I mean, the, the, the poet persona says, the church doors opened to the clang of new anthems and colorful banners. The church, the church doors opened to the clang of new anthems and colorful banners. You see, even the church doors, even the religious people welcomed, opened their doors to the entrance of new anthems and colorful banners. This shows how serious the matter of independence was. New anthems and the colorful banners therefore symbolize new national anthems and the new national flags, which meant freedom or independence was obtained. The poet shows how he also helped in installation or cementing the new readers by supporting them and voting for them. He also shows how he respected them. In Africa, kneeling down on kneeling down before someone is a sign of respect. So the poet persona says, I knelt before the new totems. And the new totems here implies new readers. So the poet persona says, I knelt before the new totems I had helped you to raise, watered them with tears of ecstasy. And by saying I had uh, I had helped you to lays water them. This shows the kind of support that the poet uh, was. I mean, was just giving to the new totems or to new readers. Uh, ladies and gentlemen, according to the poet persona, after inter, I mean, 
after entering into leadership or power, some African leaders betrayed the majority or citizens by turning to be dictators. They tortured Africans like the way colonialists did before independence. The poet persona says they grew taller, they grew taller than life. So those new totems or leaders grew taller than life. They assumed it to be bigger than those who uh, supported them during the fight, during the, the struggle for independence. Grimacing and a breathing fire. And therefore, those new totems, those new readers, they started becoming deadly, malicious to people. So, in the last stanza, the poet shows how those dictators or new readers have uh, have forced the, the poet to sing another song, and at this time, a song of exile. That means the poet was forced out of his country, maybe due to, due, due to criticizing new readers. He's therefore disappointed by readers. As the poet writes this poem, he is maybe in another country. He is forced to go uh, out of his country. Maybe he's hunted by those new totems. Therefore, to escape from the harms that can befall him, he decides to, he decides to run away. Ladies and gentlemen, as you have seen in this poem, this poem uh, speaks about discount, discontent or disillusionment, discouragement that African, uh, most African people had after independence. Because as you can see in the poem, it seems people during the struggle for independence thought that after independence things would be good. But to a, to, to a dismay, things did not have to be the way they thought. Those people they expected to help them, betrayed them, and uh, therefore they were not happy with how they went on. So there is a theme of disappointment. So the phrase like, or the sentence like, uh, the one that is being spoken in the last stanza of the the last stanza of the poem that yet i sing another song mm, is a, is a, is a sentence that shows the disillusionment but in this poem there is also a theme of the rise of african dictators or in other words it can be termed as dictatorship uh after independence, ladies and gentlemen, there arrived different dictators. I do not want to mention them here. You can uh, try to search, uh, you know, in different sources to know what are some of the African dictators who emerged after independence. So when the poem says they grew, they grew taller than life, they grew taller than life. This is an indicator of new African leaders changing to becoming uh, uh, dictators different from what the people expected before. And the, the last theme, ladies and gentlemen, I would uh, speak about is separation. Separation. And this separation is being caused by, of course, it is a forced separation. The poet shows how he is separated from his family, from his nation. Uh, he decided to leave the, uh, his own country and uh, running uh, away from the new readers who are hunting for him. They want to, to harm him. They want to kill him. So he found himself being separated by his own country. Ladies and gentlemen, thank you very much for listening. This is the end of Simpanas to this poem. For comments, uh, please 
right down on the comment section below but don't forget to subscribe to this channel so that you'll be able to get different uh, videos different uh, things that i post uh, in this channel so